Dad, under some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 16, Boone Hovercraft. I don't want to overwhelm you, and I will say that you do not need all these materials to make a balloon hovercraft. I'm going to be showing you three different builds, and the things that they all have in common are a CD, a balloon, and a method of connecting the CD to the balloon. You might want to watch it once through and see what materials you have around the house first. For this first one, I'm going to be using a water bottle and hot glue to connect the CD and balloon together. I also used a box cutter to cut the bottle. So the first step is to kind of identify where the bottle goes from becoming the neck of the bottle to the thinner plastic that usually holds the liquid inside uh, because you want to cut it right along that seam. As always, make sure you have a parent or an adult to help you with steps like this. And uh, you could probably use a different type of bottle like a milk carton or even maybe the top of a soap container or something like that. Uh, but basically this is going to be used to connect the balloon to the CD itself. And to hold the two together, we're going to use hot glue. So what I did is just kind of tapped it down first and made sure it was right in the center and then went ahead and took my hot glue and sealed it. So you do want it to be an airtight seal between the CD and the bottle top. And go ahead and take a look at it make sure it looks good. One way of telling that it's got a good suction is to actually kind of pick it up and see if it sticks a little bit to a smooth surface. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and fill up your balloon and put it on top of your bottle top. And from there, you're ready to go ahead and give it a spin. Uh, usually, I like to push it around a little bit, kind of like an air hockey puck, uh, to get it moving. For the second build, I'm going to be using a cork and some Play-Doh to attach my balloon and my CD, and a drill to make a hole through the cork so that the air can flow through it. So be really careful when you do this. Another step that definitely requires an adult to help you out. And I'm using a 3 8 inch bit here. You could definitely play around with different sizes. Uh, the smaller the size of the hole, the slower the air is going to flow from the balloon towards the bottom. And that could be something that affects the design and how the hovercraft functions. And now I took my Play-Doh and I just kind of rolled it into a long tube and then just stuck my cork in the center and used the Play-Doh to stick the two together. And uh, it took a little time. I have this sped up here, uh, but you want to get it nice and stuck together. So you can see here there's a lot of friction between the surface and the CD when air is not flowing. And the way this works is air is forced out by the higher pressure squeezing of the balloon and the air pressure it creates is enough to lift up the weight of the hovercraft itself, creating a thin cushion of air. For this final design I'm using PVC pipe and modeling clay to attach our balloon and CD and I used a PVC cutter. You could also use a hacksaw uh, to get it cut and I took off about an inch piece and this is what is going to again attach our two main parts together and it's really the same process as it was with the play-doh i'm rolling it out into a long tube and then kind of surrounding the pvc and squishing it together on top of the cd and just like the hot glue and the play-doh you want this seal to be airtight as possible so i think a common misconception about hovercrafts is that they hover way off the ground like uh, back to the future but in reality, they hover on a very, very thin film of air. And this just reduces the friction between the craft and the ground. Pause here. And I'm hoping that you're going to have a chance to do some testing of your own. But what you should find out is that the hovercraft works best on the smoothest surface possible. And this is also true for real hovercraft, although they are capable of going over um, a variety of terrain and one I think cool thing would be to improve this would be to find a way of holding the balloon up as it hovers because often the balloon tilts over and touches the table which kind of slows it down so maybe something to expand on there thanks again to my family for helping uh, let me know how your hovercrafts go